tables and how to use them. Wherever you see a table in Home Accounts, you'll find it contains more or less the same properties. Simple things like moving columns around, just use your mouse and drag columns around wherever you want to make the order suit you. All of those column positions are saved automatically, like pretty much everything else in the application, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing your configuration, it will just remember it. You can also do simple things like adjusting the column widths just by putting your mouse on the column divider in the header and dragging left or right. Another thing you can do is right click on a column header or control click if you've only got a single button mouse and there are two options in the menu sorting and columns. We'll look at sorting in a minute but for now let's look at columns. Clicking on the columns opens a small dialog box where you can choose which columns you want to see. On the left are the visible columns, on the right are the hidden columns. For example, let's add the lock column. This allows you to lock rows uh, to stop you making accidental edits. So select lock and click on show. You can see in the background that it's already there. You can select more than one column at a time as well. For example, if you want to turn on currency, select the currency amount, hold the control key down and click on the other columns that you want. If you hold the shift key down it will make a selection from the currently selected one to the one you click on. So in the case of the currency one it's easier to click on the top, press shift and click on currency rate and then click on show. Removing a column is just as easy. Select the columns you want to remove click on hide and then go back. When you're happy, click on close. All of these uh, columns and their orders are also saved immediately, so once you've set it, you've set it. That setting applies to the table that you're looking at. Other tables, for example, in the accounts view, you can set a different uh, number of columns and column widths for, so they're all independent. If we go back to our main table here. For sorting, click on any column header. There are three sort types. Ascending, descending, and your original order that you entered them in. Looking at the individual rows, most fields have a helper field. For example, with the date here, you can use the keyboard to specify what you want to do see that the helper calendar here changes as you're typing. You can also directly click on the calendar itself. So let's go back here to May 2010 and then click on 12. When you're editing a date, note that you need to press the enter key or the tab key in order to fix that change. So if I simply press 2009 and I were to just click away it will resort back to the original one. So you need to remember to press the enter key or the tab key. It's like clicking an OK button. Think of it that way. You'll also notice some fields um, have inbuilt calculations in them. For example, in the total amount, if you type an equals sign first, you can put a sum in. So we could have equals 12.63 plus 56.12 plus 5.99. This could be an addition of checks, for example. Press the Enter key and the calculation is done for you. On um, account selection, start typing the account name. The more of it you type, the more it will come down. S. Here's S. It's found four accounts with S in. It'll find the S in this particular case even if it occurs uh, somewhere else in the string, not necessarily at the start, which is great because if you remember part of the name, for example here, M-O-T, began with an M, let's type in M. You can see it's picked up M's everywhere. The more we type, the more it brings down and usually within a few clicks you're there. If the account is not here, click on the new account dialog. It'll take you straight into the account manager where you can select and add a new account. So this makes it very fast. Also, when you're in there, if you're not sure which accounts are available, click on the down 
arrow here, and then you can see the whole list of accounts. The keyboard shortcut for this is the spacebar, so press the spacebar if you're not sure which account to use. To lock an entry, if you've turned on the lock column, simply click on the lock button. That entry now can't be edited and you'll notice that uh, the line turns blue. Any line with blue on means that it's not editable. To unlock it, simply click on it again. This will open a small dialog because you may, may have clicked on it accidentally. So uh, as long as you're happy, click yes or no. Let's look over here to the accounts view again where we're looking at this different view of entries here. It's the same thing. Control click or right click column heading to select the columns that you want. These are remembered independently. Again, everything moves. So once you've learned a table in one view, you can edit that table in other views without having to relearn it again. Templates is no different, as are the automated entries and standing orders.